Hey there, welcome back. This is Vijay Selvam. We are going through series for Angular unit testing using Jest. In our last chapter, we have seen how to test services in Angular using Jest, and we have also seen 100% code coverage. We have seen how to test the get call, post call, and how to test the error scenarios. All those things in our last chapter. Now in this chapter, we will see how to test Angular component using Jest. For that, first let us create a component. ng generate component data so i am creating a component named data you can name it anything or else you can use your own component okay we have the component has been created here this component also contains a spec file it has the default codes in it and this component is completely blank so we will create a method and we will also inject some services and we will see how to test all these things in this component using just first let me inject a service which we have created in our last chapter private fake service make sure you are importing the fake service here and i am going to create a method this dot service data so here we are calling the service data method inside the ng on in it so here is the real method so inside this method we will make a fake service call this dot fake service dot get data v1 so here uh, this method returns an observable if you see here it's returning an observable now we will subscribe to this observable dot subscribe and since we are running on latest angular we have to do like this we have to add the three properties next and this is a success case if the data comes what we are going to do in this case and the next would be error so on error what we are going to do on successful completion complete okay so this is the template so in each scenario we will test if it is success what happens in the the data and if it is error what we are getting and in the complete case as well so for uh, the success case we will set this data into a variable for that i will create a variable service data sorry colon any and then we will also add error message error message okay so here once we get the data we are going to assign it to the service data and we will see how to test this service data contains the data it comes from this and here in the error message the error uh, we will set it to this dot error message equal to error dot status text property present in this error so we will see how uh, what is the status text property from this as well and in the complete scenario we will add console.log finished okay so we have uh, written all the three scenarios we have subscribed the obs observable response from the service let's save it okay now we will uh, test this component okay by default this is the basic template created by the angular so it doesn't have any dependency injections added we have added the fake service as dependency we need to import fake service here first let us create a mock for the fake service let fake service mock colon any since i have given colon any i have the control of what whatever the methods i wanted to define I can add it at the entry here. 
So here we need to define what are the methods present in the fake service. So here we are using only get data v1. So we need to define only that method. So let us define that fake service mock equal to get data v1 method and we will use a just mock for that just dot fn so now we have mocked the fake service and the method get data v1 uh, the fake service might contain a lot of methods but whatever the methods we are using inside this component only should be mocked here since we have uh, mentioned it as any now we will add it in the providers so in the provide add the fake service here instead of the real fake service we are going to use this value so let us type as use value fake service mark here if you see this i am mentioning it as use value not use class since it is a value for this fake service mock it is not a class which not we have not defined any class for that we have defined a value so make sure you are using use value if you are uh, creating any class then at the time you can mention use class okay let's save this so now we will create our first test case it should return service data so so it return service data actually we are setting the service data so it should be set okay so here we will uh, we will add the expected response const expected response equal to name we'll add my name vijay selvam so we are going to expect this response as part of this get call the fake service call first we will mock the fake service just dot spy on fake service mock and the name of the method which we are going to use so we are going to mock this one dot mock return value and this should be of type observable so let's add a operator of and i import it from the rxjs make sure it is imported from the rxjs and we'll add the expected response okay so now we have mocked the response so here by default angular uh, triggers the fixture dot detect changes in the before each of every test case but we don't want this to be uh, triggered in each case we'll remove it from here instead we will add it from here okay so only on this test case it has to detect the fixture dot detect changes it has to trigger the fixture dot detect changes if it triggers fixture dot detect changes what happens if you see here this ng on init will get triggered so inside the ng on init we are calling service data method so then this method will get triggered so the, uh, then here inside this method we are calling fake service dot get data v1 so again this will get triggered so this is how the trigger goes but you can also directly trigger this method get service data without uh, using uh, fixture dot detect changes by calling component dot get service data but since we are uh, you, uh, triggering it from the ng on in it we have to trigger it from here only now we will expect component dot 
service data since we have defined the service data as public so by default if you define any variable that will be considered as public if you de define it as a private then we will not be able to access this variable inside this spec component if you see here we are getting an error service data is private only accessible within the data component it will not be accessible here so we have to make sure it is of type public okay now we will expect uh, here we will expect the name alone name I will check dot to be this name Ex expected response dot name so this is what we are going to test here let's save this so let's run this application in watch mode the test cases npm run test colon watch this will trigger a script return in the package.json test colon watch this will execute a jest in watch mode okay now we have our test cases has been passed and we also got finished has been executed since this case is a success case the finish will get triggered by default now let's cover the error scenario for this let's create an uh, it case for that it should get service data set error message So here uh, we will we will set the error response const error response equal to new HTTP error response. And we'll have the properties. I update all the properties. Test for not for error. status four not four actually if you see these are the properties defined by the HTTP error response error status status text so we are passing a value for that But in your case, these errors will be passed by the backend API. So the API will return the error response. So now we will mock the call. This one we are, we have to set this with the error response. But we have to throw the error. Here this one is deprecated. If you see throw error, then the newest way is to add this format. It should be written as a function. Okay, now we could see the deprecation has been removed. Now let's trigger this method. See, we have seen the way how to trigger it via ng on in it. Now let's see how to trigger it directly calling this component get service data component dot get service data now we will expect this error message is set or not expect component dot error message dot to be not phone
let's save it okay we could see the test got passed if you change it to uh, dot not if you say this will not come then it will throw error because this was the statistics we have mentioned here Yes, as expected, the test got failed. See here, it has mentioned the not as defined in before the not found. So it ha we have to change it to to be not found. Remove the not, then the test case will get passed. Okay. Now we have seen uh, how to test a service call from the component. We have seen the all the three scenarios, the next error, and all the complete as well. So this is how you test uh, services injected into any component. In our next chapter, we will see how to test branches in the Angular component. And also we will see the timeout and the asynchronous everything. Until then, signing off Vijay Silvam.